She was missing for a year and a half. And now her family has to suffer through a big waiting period until forensic analysis can determine how Kelly Dwyer died. Dwyer went missing from downtown Milwaukee back in October of 2013. A passerby found her skeletal remains in rural Jefferson County just earlier this month. Tonight, they're at a very prominent forensic anthropology lab in Texas. Colleen Henry investigates what Dwyer's bones could reveal about her final hours. A young beauty, an ugly end. Nothing but bones and unanswered questions. How did Kelly Dwyer die? And who left her like roadkill on a dead end road? No, Michael Simley is a forensic no, investigator at Milwaukee County's no, Medical Examiner's no, Office, no, where an autopsy of Dwyer's skeleton revealed no obvious cause of death. Simley can't discuss her case specifically, but says her bones may still spill secrets. Bones can tell us a lot. Dwyer's bones, specifically her teeth, revealed the most critical clue, her identity. What can the bones tell you about cause of death? Simley says some causes of death are easy to identify. Knife wounds, gunfire. You can see the bullet fragments still. For the very tough cases, a forensic anthropologist is the last resort. It's the last thing we can possibly do to see if there's a, a cause of death or if there's anything that could maybe lead us to what happened to the person. Dwyer's skeleton is now at the University of North Texas, where forensic anthropologists will microscopically analyze each bone for clues about her final hours. We just want information that will lead to us finding Kelly. Dwyer's disappearance set off a desperate search. Surveillance cameras last documented her entering the luxury high rise of Chris Zacco, but never showed her leave. Zacco was an IT executive. Court records show he told police he and Dwyer were friends with benefits, spent that night drinking, snorting cocaine, and having sex that she left in the morning. Zacco is now in prison for drugs and child pornography found during the search for Dwyer. Search warrants also identify Zacco as a suspect in the crimes of homicide, hiding a corpse, and taking nude photos without consent. Court records say when police searched Zacco's cell phone, they found pictures of 50 shades of gray style bondage. Dwyer's hands and feet tied to bed by neckties, seemingly unconscious, unaware anyone's taking pictures. And a video that shows Dwyer gagging and gasping for air as a voice that sounds like Zacco's directs Dwyer to breathe through her nose to ease the suffocation. Police seized handcuffs, guns, and Zacco's collection of neckties from his apartment. Come on, babe. Come on, old lady. Oh, there you go. Police also called in a cadaver dog named Molly, seen here on YouTube with her handler from the Madison PD. Court records say the dog hit on the scent of Dwyer's remains in Zacco's bed at the trash chute outside his apartment and in the garbage room below. Detectives noted his shower curtain was missing, seemingly ripped off the hooks. Zacco's serving 19 years on drug and child porn charges, small solace for her father. The only uh, situation like that that I will uh, that will satisfy us is when he's in handcuffs for an association with Kelly's disappearance. Now investigators have a skeleton, which may offer clues, but may not if suffocation or drugs killed her. Drug overdose. You're probably not going to learn that from a skeleton. No. Michael Simley says even when forensic anthropologists can't determine cause of death, they can find other clues. It might not be the cause of death. It might be something that might help the investigation for the police. You know, it might not affect anything, or it may change the, the whole scheme of things. The forensic exam at the University of North Texas could take months. Dwyer's family isn't ready to talk about the discovery of her skeleton. They're still planning a proper memorial here in Milwaukee. That will come once her remains are finally released to her family. In the newsroom, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News.